And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. In this segment, we want to take you out to Indian Springs High School for the annual Ken Hubs Awards. And Ken Hubs obviously was a local all-star um, in a variety of sports, but best known for baseball. He was the class of 1959 from Colton High School, made it to the big leagues with the Chicago Cubs, and uh, had a great career going when a tragic airplane accident took his life at just 22 years old. But he played second base for the Cubs. He was the National League Rookie of the Year. He also won a Gold Glove Award for great defense. So he is well on his way to being one of the all-time greats. Well, now um, we've got this award here locally in San Bernardino County to honor Ken Hubs and honor great high school athletes in the area. In fact, it was the 60th annual Ken Hubs Awards. So uh, without further ado, they have a boys and girls overall winner. So let's check it out. Let's take you out to Indian Springs High School. And there is Cambria Salmon, your overall winner on the girls side. Salmon taking her talents to the University of Texas Longhorns as a softball player. One of the most dominating high school softball pitchers we have ever seen in the area. And on the boys side, it was Tate Whittemore from Redlands East Valley. And Tate played four different sports, uh, maybe no, most notably soccer. He was the goalkeeper for the Wildcats and will play soccer at the college level. Congratulations to Tate and Cambria. I mean, at first I didn't think it was me. I don't know. I, I think I was just like kind of thinking it was someone else. And then I heard my name and I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. Like that was what was just going through my head. I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. So when you look back, I know you're a senior now, when you look back on your high school career and all the things that you were able to accomplish, what are some of the things that you're going to remember? Um, I'm definitely going to remember how I recently just hit my 1,000 strikeouts because that is something that not a lot of people do, and I think it is a very big thing and a big accomplishment. Um, another thing I'm going to remember is obviously winning this. And then also um, this year for CIF, we got in around three and we haven't been that far in a couple years. So I'm also going to remember that. But also my sophomore year because it was definitely one of my best years in high school. So yeah. Where are you going to put that thing? I don't know. I might put it like in my kitchen so I can look at it every morning. <laughs> a bit of surprise, really. Um, it's just. Um, I couldn't have imagined it at the at the beginning of my high school career. It's just a great honor. So obviously you played multiple sports. What are some of the memories or things you're going to remember about your high school career at, at Rev? Period. Any sport. Um, honestly, just being with my teammates, um, making new friends. Um, really, just those those memories with my team is is what's going to stick with me. Um, not not just individual awards or or honors but really just the friends i've made um the coaches and just the relationships in general finally tate uh what are you gonna do now with the bust where's that gonna go man um it's gonna be tough to find a place in my house but um we'll we'll find a spot whether it's in my room or um or on the kitchen table i don't know but um we'll find a spot I think Cam from Beaumont said she was going to put it in her kitchen so she could see it every morning when she gets up. Yeah, that, that, that might be a good spot. Well, they also passed out two memorial awards in honor of the legacy of Keith Hubs, the brother of Ken Hubs, and also Ron Doty, who was instrumental in the success of the Ken Hubs Awards. It would go to Jasmine White from San Gorgonio and Nemo Neal from Indian Springs High School. Let's hear the big announcement and also an interview with Jasmine White from San G, who was a softball star and played girls flag football. 2024 Keith Hubs Memorial Award from Indian Springs High School. Nimon Leo and the inaugural Ron Doty Memorial Award from San Gregorio High School, Jasmine White. biggest supporter, my mom, and uh, my athletic director, Coach Beta. I can't find him right now. Oh, he's right there. Uh, so, and then I have my coaches, um, 
Coach Matthews and Coach Ditto, and I also have my Vice Principal Riser. Um, I would like to thank the Ken Hux Foundation for putting this um, together, and I would like to thank, um, and I would like to congrat congratulate all the winners today. Um, I would like to thank my athletic director again for uh, nominating me for this award, and I wouldn't be here without my softball and flag football coaches, Coach Ditto, Coach uh, Frank, Coach Danny, Coach Spolstra, and Coach Matthews. Um, uh, thank you for believing me and supporting me through the highs and the lows and the wins and the losses. And I would like to thank my, the administrators of San Diego High School, and I would like to give a big thanks to my mom for being there for me and my dad cheering me on from heaven. And I, above all, I would like to thank God for um, guiding me through my journey, and and I would like to thank Bill Webb for supporting us, me and Jamie, through this journey. So tonight, this this means a lot to me. Um, I I do this all for my little siblings, my nieces, because um, I'm really the one that's paving their way, and I couldn't have done it without my mom and my dad supporting me throughout the whole way. And um, and my dad, he's cheering me on in heaven. I like to say that. And um, uh, and I, it's just a really big honor. And I have like a lot of friends and family that are supporting me, mostly my two best friends. Um, uh, and I would like to thank my athletic director, my athletic trainer, and my equipment manager, Miss Denise and Miss Vanessa. They were really the MVPs. Those are the people that work behind the scenes, and I would just like to thank them so much. So next I'm going to La Sierra University, and I'm playing softball, and I might play flag football for my sophomore year. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, congratulations to Jasmine and Nemo on those big awards. When we come back, speaking of awards, Pacific's Alexia Leone has been collecting a lot of postseason awards. We've got an exclusive interview with her, the Pacific High School soccer star, when we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.